on Tuesday, almost down 10%, sitting at $1,050, pretty much, 1050 So this video is not like me saying, hey, I told you so, here it is. Now, let's have a look what to watch from here. So it was getting extended and it needed a pullback. So what to watch from here now? So a lot of times when you are bullish, uh, I forgot to mention that um, if you are someone who watches the stock very closely and tries to trade it in and out during the day, uh, the best thing is, I think, five day move on average. So five day simple move on average is just to, if you want to watch the momentum closely so and it could it can work as a guide both to the upside and both to the downside so whenever it's trending upside you can use it as a gauge to say okay so if it's coming to test that level you can pick it up go long whenever it slips below five day sma uh, you can go short so that's what happened yesterday so basically over the weekend we heard the news that elon is selling his 10% of stake and his brother sold uh, some of his shares and stock gap down and yesterday it couldn't get above five day SMA which means momentum has shifted and that was your um, probably guide that okay so if it can get above five day then it's short same thing today in the morning tried to gap up went a higher uh, from yesterday's close but hit that five day moving average right here and it rejected from that level. So from here, I'm watching basically thousand dollars. Why is because that's the trillion dollar mark, right? So if we lose thousand dollars, then um, I'm gonna bring up, just like I said, the other moving averages that uh, a lot of institutions, um, even the algos use, are the um, 20 day moving average, 50 day moving average. 200 day moving average and um, 100 day moving average. So 100 day moving average and 200 day way, way down here on my chart. But uh, 50 day is coming up here, 865 at the moment. But also some momentum traders do use 20 day moving average as well. So that level at the moment is that $1,000 and 20, basically 1,020. So that's the support I'm watching. Uh, for this week and for um, for the momentum maybe some um, dip buyers will come in some maybe uh, relief bounce traders will come in so if it's 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 pretty big drop for Tesla all right and also if you look at the overall markets uh, overall market is pretty overextended if you look at the S&P 500 and the um, Nasdaq they're all hitting all-time highs and pretty extended and Tesla top 10 stock actually so let's let, let's take a look at this is the heat map actually i'm showing you today on tuesday where pretty much bond yields are going up and that's why banks are coming down and that's why indices are uh, pulling back and if you take a look at the nasdaq here nasdaq 100 tesla is the biggest loser uh, i believe uh, with paypal so they both are down around 10 percent plus so these are dragging down the uh, indices a lot today. So, and also, uh, what, what should we look at here? Let's take a look at the um, MACD and uh, we'll take a look at the option activity because it's still early in the day. It's been maybe, um, okay, half a day or so, three hours since market opened. And if you look at the MACD right here, the momentum slowing was right here. It was telling you that all right, we're rolling over here. Probably uh, momentum is slowing, and it's it. It was perfect sign to be cautious, and that's what stock did as well. Usually, stock price lags while um, the MACD can give you a hint that okay, so be cautious here. Momentum is not as strong at these high levels. There are not that many buyers at these levels. So that, that's why I use MACD just to um, combine with everything else out there. So also, let's see what's going on with the option activity with Tesla today. Uh, even though it's been half a day so far, uh, let's see if there are more puts being traded or calls. So, all right, 
very institutional stock to trade right a lot of options um, volume as usual but today put volume is slightly higher 667,000 calls were traded and 756,000 so 100,000 more puts being traded so far today uh, while stock is down 10 percent so and if you take a look at the orders that are coming in a lot of spreads a lot of short term even 800 700 outputs uh, 940 875 thousand dollar puts and 770 so a lot of weekly puts coming in all right and that's yeah for me just by looking at the biggest orders i can say that, so short term looks like people are betting to the downside and stock is obviously down and people in the morning maybe were coming in um, to buy puts because time frames are different I filtered out by the biggest orders you can take a look at, uh, at those numbers yourself but pretty much this is it for Tesla and I do think that if it slips that 20 um, day moving average definitely can come back down to 900 so there's um, when when um, when stocks come down, uh, like just like short squeeze, right? When stocks squeeze to the upside, it can push higher very fast. Same thing with the fear. When people have stop losses and when people are selling and they are scared, stocks can come down very fast. So keep that in mind. And that's it for this video. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Peace.